BC's ongoing terror trial was back in Supreme Court on Tuesday. Province reporter Keith Fraser is at the courthouse. A senior RCMP officer spent a second day on Tuesday defending the undercover police operation that resulted in the convictions of John Nuttall and Amanda Cordy for plotting to detonate bombs at the Victoria Legislature on Canada Day 2013. Staff Sergeant Vaz Kassam, who was brought into the lengthy undercover operation in the final week and was the primary investigator in the case, was grilled by lawyers for Nuttall and Cordy, who are alleging police conduct was abusive and amounted to entrapment. Marilyn Sanford, a lawyer for Nuttall, criticized the confrontational approach that the undercover cops used in the final days prior to the plot being carried out. She, she suggested that the statements Nuttall made to officers he believed were violent terrorists were rendered unreliable by the angry confrontational approach. Kassam des denied the suggestion, saying that confrontation was needed to assess the commitment of the Surrey couple to carry out their plot and was requ required to assess the risk to public safety. While Nettle and Cordy were convicted of conspiracy to, to commit murder, the convictions were not entered pending the outcome of the defense entrapment hearing, which is scheduled to run for several weeks.